New house, new bar, new victims. That's right, you're about to be some good burgers, I tell you what. Don't look at me funny. The beef and short ribs did in fact look at me funny, and now their ego is being cut down to size. Not looking so smug now, are you? <laughs> Perhaps some time in the cooler will straighten out your attitude, yeah? Yes, stay in there and think what you've done. Ooh. Ooh. All right, that's enough chilling out any longer and we'll miss the ceremony. You don't want to do that now, do you? You too, you lazy bum, get out of there. We are gathered here today to bring Chuck and Rib together in holy matrimony. If there was anyone against this mawaj, speak now or forever hold your peace. Whoops, too late. If that's not a metaphor for marriage, I don't know what is. Maybe that's why the Germans call it wedding sausage. Everyone loves a honeymoon in sub-zero temperatures. You enjoy yourself for a couple of days. Love birds. Hmm, now what do we have here? Ballpark brand? It's not sport ball season. Cellulose gum? Coloring? I think we can do better than that. Hmm? You've invaded my cooking space, you beast! Out with you! Out! Flour, brown sugar, salt, butter, yeast, agua, and finally, the sacred goop. What? Now you see, this is normally the part where I would spend the next 20 minutes in some kind of workout building up a sweat, kneading the hell out of some dough. Which, you know, you, you could do if you want to, but if you have slave labor, things are a lot easier. It would help if I plugged it in. There we go. Machines have no rights. Oh God, too fast. Oh God, I almost forgot about the sacred goop. Oh gosh. Oh, sticky. Oh, I need help. Let go of me, sacred goop. Get in the bowl. No, oh God. The sacred goop is in the bowl and it wasn't difficult at all. Uh. Work harder, not smarter. Yes, yes, rest in there. Rest in there, my little doe boy. I wonder how my two lovebirds are doing. Oh, oh dear. Well, that's a, that's an icy way to start a marriage. Enjoy the hot spring. Ooh, took some time to set up. That's a beautiful work surface though, isn't it? All right, time for your second beating, doe boy. Get over here. Ooh, you got fat. Well, how about that? I started with one big fat dough boy, and now I ended up with eight. And one ugly red-headed stepchild. Into the cooler to think what you've done? Oh. Uh-oh. This, this, um... Okay, we're fine. It fits. It fits. It perfectly fits between these shelves. Whew. All right, then. I feel like I'm missing an ingredient, and I don't remember what. Oh, I remember what it was! Poison! I keep him up here with the drinking glasses. Ah, perfect. This will give him the right kind of bite my doughboys need. Don't forget the ventilation, Jesse. <laughs> now I'm ready to practice medicine. All right, measure the chemicals carefully. There we go. Just a little of that magic poison powder. Get that all mixed in. Oh, yes. Just give it the old joker bath. Little bit of chemicals, and all is right with the world. I'm sure their once pillowy, sheeny, beautiful shape will even back out when it cooks, right? <laughs> that, that, I think that that'll be fine. Now that's the kind of tan I was looking for. Oh, oh yes. I'm gonna let you cool and then slice you in half. You know, as beautiful as this is, I can't help but think that this pretzel twist is missing something. Aha, of course. Delicious. Finally, the family will reunite. Oh, yes. This works. Hello, Mayard, my good friend. Oh, oopsie daisy. There we go. And he burped on me. 
falling apart a little bit on me, but that's what makes good burgers when they refuse to conform. Now that is what I call a burger. Look at that gorgeous thing. Ground meat and my own pretzel bun and these fries, which I worked really, really hard on off camera. <clears throat> uh, delicious. Mm.